Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, if you've tried this one, uh, I'm, I don't try it right now because for every model that you upload, it will take a long time. So you can try it later. But what I'm saying is if you go down back to your uh, Harvard, uh, this uh, uh, tiny ML, then you can, uh, so magic wand, magic wand, you can try later when you uh, upload it, uh, maybe during your lunch or something. And it recognizes gestures. So if you will say like this, it will draw a W. Okay. If you say like this, it'll draw O. Okay. So don't try it now. It's the same step, uh, you know, start the launch that uh, sketch, make sure your board and port is right, push it to the board. And once it's uploaded, uh, just open the serial monitor and it will do that magic wand. Okay. So I have tried magic wand and magic speech. I have not tried the other ones. I think the person detection, I've not tried it. So I, I'm not sure, but you'll need the camera for that one. Okay. Uh, but anyway, you can try these examples. And also, uh, if you just go on internet later, uh, uh, you know, when you're back in your school and you search for, you know, this edX, just, just say something like uh, edX uh, and, you know, this person detection. I'm sure there will be lots, lots of, you know, YouTube videos and, you know, tutorials that you can try. So uh, uh, I'm saying this whole thing, you can, all of them, you can try. I think hello world is a very simple one, but magic wand speech, and then you can try the others also. Okay. So this is something you can try later on your own. I'm going to switch to a different project. Okay. Um, so uh, the next project we are trying is again, it's a pre-made ML model. We are just going to, you know, put the model on our uh, uh, nano and then try it. Okay. Uh, so the website you have to go to is called experiments.withgoogle.com. Okay. Uh, so if you will go to this website, experimentswithgoogle.com, you can either do it with me or do it later. Uh, when you will go here, this is the interface. Okay. So I'm just closing this and I have these, uh, you know, uh, so I, I told you that the uh, ML models for uh, Arduino Nano, they uh, work with TensorFlow Lite. Uh, one of the frameworks is TensorFlow Lite. So we are using that. So once here you click on this view collection. So when you will, uh, you know, click on this view collection, uh, there are, they, this is run by Google. So Google had run this challenge some years back and these are the winners. Okay. So we are trying some of the projects, which, which uh, they have made. So one of these projects, if you scroll down, one of the projects is called this air snare. Okay. So you just, uh, 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 you know, uh, say launch experiment. And so if you say la launch, exp uh, sorry, don't say launch experiment, say uh, overview. So if you say overview, okay. So this is the project, okay. So uh, basically, I mean, what they are, I mean, you don't have to put them on a drumstick if you want, you can, but as I'll just show you, just gestures will play a drum. Uh, it's, it'll be like playing a drum. Okay. So that's the program we are trying out next. So in this, uh, uh, once you're here in air snare, so you can also simply go straight to this URL experiments dot with Google dot com slash air hyphen snare, uh, whichever way. Okay. Just find the uh, thing. And then if I'm saying launch experiment, okay, then it's giving me, if you want to, to see step-by-step -step instructions, if you forget some of what I have said, you can just click getting started guide. Okay. So if you go in the getting started guide, uh, it is telling you step-by-step step what to do. You've already done all these steps. So it's just telling you how to install the board and how to install, you know, make sure it's the right port and how to install the libraries. So you've already done all of this. So you don't have to bother. Okay. So once you have done all of this, basically you have to, uh, download one particular INO file. Uh, INO is an Arduino file and just push it to your uh, Arduino. And which is that file? Either you can go from here where it says download the latest version. Okay. Or let's say since you have already followed everything which is under getting started, you don't have to go here. So from this website, you just simply say TF4 micro motion kit. If you click here, it will automatically go to the GitHub page. Okay. And show you the file. And here, this is the file. Okay. So it's the same way that we unzipped the file earlier. So if you will click on it, it will download. 
wherever it has downloaded it's a zip file you have to unzip it okay and once you unzip it it will open so you know it will say something arduino and then it will have this t4 micro motion kit and in that there is only one file which is the ino file see the rest of the files that cpp.h whatever those are those ml models and all when you open this file it will automatically call all those files in okay so i'm just repeating the process i'm saying we are going to this website called experiments with google uh, uh experiments with google.com so once you are in this website uh, you can close this see the view collection okay uh, and then scroll down and go to this air snare launch experiment okay and then you just click on this t4 micro motion kit it will open a github page you click this uh, zip file you unzip the file but when you unzip the file you will get all these files you will get this folder called t4 micro you will get all these files and you will have one of the files which is called uh, uh, you know whatever dot uh, motion i kit i n o when you will open the file it will automatically open in your uh, in your uh, my arduino ide okay followed the steps so far once it's here all you have to do is push it so make sure that your board and the port are right if your board and port are right just push it okay push it like transfer it to your arduino okay again it will take a long time for it to get compiled and you know uh, put to your arduino i have already done it so you can see here uh, 100% i have transferred it so that we don't waste time so once you have done this then you go back to your uh, air snare page okay and then you say connect okay when you will say connect it will or it will connect via bluetooth so your laptop so your laptop should have bluetooth okay it will connect via bluetooth to your uh, 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 to your arduino okay and once it's connected then uh, i've already done all those things i'm because all of them take time so i've already done those things then you will have you, you know once you have done it will say it will transfer stuff okay so it will transfer then it will say 100% transferred once it's 100% transferred okay then you will get just scroll down on the page you will get this interface and now watch okay uh, so this is my uh, it it's doing gesture uh, it's it's doing recognition so when i say to the side i don't know if you can hear the drums can you hear the drums because i'm not sure whether zoom captures that uh, thing or not so anyway uh, i take my word for it that you know you can see it's becoming dark okay it's playing a drum right now so it's making the sound in my speakers uh, zoom is not sharing that but basically uh, when you will make it high if you see these dots will become black okay when i am hitting to the side it's recognizing that gesture and it's playing a drum i can hear it in my thing okay and when i'm saying down it's this this drum that plays and when i'm saying high it's a bit a difficult gesture but anyway okay so i'm saying that it's the same uh uh just follow the process and uh, you know try out this one it should work uh if you face any problems then you let me know but uh, the time taken will be when you transfer it to your arduino it will take 3 4 5 minutes for it to compile and transfer okay so i'm going to stop here uh